end of the road trip. The suspension's history, but the Lakers list LeBron is questionable with the abdominal injury. Russell Westbrook has worn a different jersey arriving to nearly every game of late. Today, it's a personalized L.A. Kings sweater. Producer Eric approves. It will be a losing road trip, but a win in the finale will be a positive. Heading into Thanksgiving, it's the Lakers and Pacers. Tip-off is at 4 o'clock right here on Spectrum Sportsnet. As we say hello and welcome to Axis Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Toyota dealers. I'm Allie Clifton, joined by the one and only Hall of Famer, Big Game, James Worthy, seven-time champ, Big Shot, Robert Ori, our Laker insider, Mike Bresnahan. And guys, before we get to basketball, kind of basketball, though, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. I say I'm thankful for all of you. What are you thankful for most, Big Game, this Lakers season? Uh, this Lakers season? Uh kind of a simultaneous simultaneously goes along with my golf season Brad so <laughs> the schedule I'm, I'm thankful that I'm down two strokes <laughs> nice. I'm thankful that I'm down you know look I'm thankful that um, that Laker fans are able to come back into the arena safely and uh, I'm happy that we're that people are starting to get together again you know seeing their grandparents and seeing their relatives uh, I'm thankful for that because it's been a Damn tough two years, and hopefully we're starting to, to get things together. But I'm happy that people are starting to get back together. Fans back in their arenas, it looks good. Rob? It's tough. I'm thankful they got a lot more games to get this thing right. <laughs> That's what I'm thankful for. <laughs> you know, but honestly, I'm just thankful, if be honest, 100%, I'm honest, I'm very thankful that I got a chance to play for the Laker organization and that I'm still able to do charity events with those guys mm. and be out in the community mm -hmm. with them, able to go to the games and just be a part of this family, you know, be a part of the Spectrum family, the Laker family. That's what I'm thankful for because there could be a lot of other places and there's no other place I'd rather be and then here with you guys. Yeah, great It's words. all about family. Yeah, for sure. Really thankful to come in here today and hang out with you guys the day before Thanksgiving. I'll tell you what, James, I'm thankful you don't play golf with me. Uh, you might get uh, injured uh, if that uh. was the case. Also, guys, thankful for a nice bottle of red whenever that uh, yeah. occasion comes. Could be later tonight. We'll see. Absolutely. We love the sport. We love hoops. We get to talk about it. We get to call this our job. Yeah. And it's awesome. Can't beat that. So what are you thankful for? Yeah. I said I'm thankful uh, for all of you. I'm thankful for the opportunity, like I, I just kind of mentioned, to cover this game. You know, it's a beautiful game, the organization. Um, and just to do it with such wonderful, awesome people, from those behind the scenes to the ones that we get to see. Yeah, you too, Rob. And Geeter. <laughs> Every single day. And, and, and Geeter. Geeter, we're thankful wonderful. for you too. Yep. Yeah. All right, enjoy your family. Do brother. not forget to give thanks this year, of course. Now, back to hoops. For the latest round of who is in and who is out, let's go live to Indiana and bring in Lakers reporter Mike Trudell. He doesn't have an MD at the end of his name just yet, but he could probably handle a couple of shifts in the ER. How do you feel about that, Mike? What's up? <laughs> Well, I'm not thankful, Allie, to once again be telling you about a injury slash illness update. So I'll just spoil uh, what Frank Vogel's about to say. No Anthony Davis. At least that's what it looks like. There's still a tiny chance that he will get to the arena and feel better. So LeBron is back. That is the good news, but he won't be on the court with AD. Now, here's Frank Vogel describing why a couple moments ago. Uh, yeah, Le LeBron is available, and uh, AD is, uh, we're still going to list him as questionable, but he's most likely out. Uh, the fever returned after the game, and, um, you know, he's been in bed all day uh, with that fever. Um, you know, he's trying to hold out hope that, you know, if the fever breaks, he can get over here, but he's most likely out. Still listed as questionable officially. So part of, it's been a bit of a part of your season, right, where you've had guys in and out, but how does this specific one affect you in this game? Yeah, well, we haven't played a lot of minutes without Anthony. You know, he's been in every game, and um, you know, it's a it's a different challenge for us. For you know, obviously, what he does on both sides of the ball, um, and this is a big team that we're playing against. So uh, we will definitely miss his his size and length inside. Um, but we just have to adjust. You know, um, you know, everybody deals with guys in and out of the lineup all, all year, and um, you know, it's no different for us tonight. And then, Frank, just how about getting LeBron back after not playing last night and just you know, everything with the suspension? How are you looking at him and his approach to this one? Well, I'm, I'm never unhappy to have him back. You know, um, obviously it impacts both sides of the ball and, and, and winning more than any, any player in the league. And, um, you know, it's just it was just disappointing, you know, that uh, he wasn't able to play in that game in the Garden. And, um, you know, I'm sure he'll be eager to get in there tonight and uh, help us get a W. Frank, we talked a lot about AD at the five lineups, and I know 
paces are kind of huge, but um, is this a game without AD where you look at maybe super small lineups with either LeBron or, or Melo playing the five? Yeah, we've talked about that. Um, it's probably unlikely. You know, um, you know, just because of really Sabonis and Turner. I mean, those guys are, are huge. Uh, and Sabonis in particular, you know, just requires uh, an element of physicality, you know, that I like uh, for our centers. So um, we'll likely look at that, but, you know, definitely have that as an option. All right, guys, there's Frank Vogel trying to figure out how they're going to play without Anthony Davis. Now, one thing I am thankful for is to see Lakers fans all over the country. Again, a lot of purple and gold in every building. And then just for my wife, holding it down with Jet Talon and Riggs solo uh, for these last seven days. Well, I guess eight days, five games. It'll be nice to get back to Los Angeles later tonight, guys. I was just going to say thank you so much for all that hard work out there, Mike. And I know you're excited to get back. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Enjoy this last one here in Indiana. Doctor. All right, guys. Exactly. I kind of like that. We have to get to the news of the day, and that's with Anthony Davis, who's listed as questionable. You just heard Frank say, though, most likely will not play tonight. LeBron does return. Uh, big game. What can you expect uh, from this team in terms of what the impact will be without AD on the final game of the trip? I, I really expect that, uh, you know, guys will step up and play better. They know they're going to be without uh, one of their rim protectors and one of their dominant scores. So they're going to be missing, uh, forgot what he's averaging. They're going to be missing, you know, 20 plus points, uh, you know, uh, defensive presence and uh, a big part of their offense. But hey, so what? He's out. I'm in the NBA too. So the next guy's going to have to step up. They might play a little smaller or quicker, um, you know. So yeah, that, that's what I expect. Uh, a smaller lineup, maybe. Um, get some steals, get some fast breaks. Don't turn it over. So the bigs like DeAndre and Dwight have to, you know, clean up the mess in there. Unfortunately, but fortunately, Rob, it's not the first time the Lakers have had to change their starting lineup and roll yeah. with a new one. You know, it's weird. Uh, James, you always mention this is why we got Westbrook when LeBron's out. Mm -hmm. This is why we got Westbrook when AD is out, too. <laughs> True. So mm -hmm. I look at this opportunity not just for uh, Westbrook, but every guy to step up because think about the way THT has been playing when, when LeBron was out. Let's see what you can do now that AD is out and you're playing alongside LeBron. That means more shots. Let's see what Monk can do, who's been up and down with his shooting and his scoring. What can you do alongside LeBron? Because you got to understand, LeBron's a different beast than AD. Now, if you're able to go out and score Le LeBron on the court, you should be able to do that when AD's on the court because he's more of an inside presence. So I'm looking for guys like, like Monk, uh, THT, and Avery Bradley, and maybe Baysmore to get mm -hmm. in the game Baysmore. and show some things because they're going to need some guys that's actively active on defense. Yeah, Bay has been collecting those DMP CDs over the last uh, week, week and a half. Um, how about Carmelo, guys? Rob, you like to refer to him as part of the Big Four. Uh, not a great shooting night last night in the, uh, the Big Apple. Obviously, he was trying to show everyone what they've been missing the last few years out there. I think he's the guy who really has to step up tonight. Uh, defensively, that's probably not going to happen, but at least offensively, hit some threes. That's also been a trouble spot for this team lately. I like to see Carmelo kind of jump, uh, jump in there and make things happen. I would expect the ball to move a little bit more because uh, AD has a tendency to kind of wait a little bit. They have to attack. If they're going to, you know, have any success, they can't wait. They got to move 28 to 30 assists tonight is what I'd be expecting. I like that. Maybe play the pace that Russ wants them all to play. Hey, he can play the pace by throwing LeBron at the five. He's big enough. Sure. He's played <laughs> it before. We'll see what happens. Getting on to him, uh, LeBron James is questionable to play tonight. He served his one-game suspension last night for his involvement in the altercation with Detroit Pistons' Isaiah Stewart on Sunday. This marked the first suspension of LeBron's career and only the second ejection. LeBron has missed 11 of the Lakers' 19 games this season, which is really hard to fathom when you're talking about a team that is looking for some consistency. You're, you're without your star uh, that long. So LeBron should be well rested after serving his one-game suspension last night. In 60 career meetings against the Pacers, LeBron has averaged 27.1 points. It's the third highest all-time, trailing only Michael Jordan and Ant. Rob, you know he's going to be ready. I don't think he was too happy about what came down from the league. Historically, he's been successful against the Pacers. What do you anticipate? I anticipate LeBron. a lot of energy because think about it. He was coming back, played really good in the previous game. He was playing good in the Detroit game. And he got time to sit out. When you got a guy like LeBron who can sit out and get more rest, that's better for him because he put so much stress on his body by going up and down the court, 
sometimes he needs a break. But I expect him to be on attack. I expect him to go to the hole because we found that when AD is not in the game or another big, he attacks that basket. So I'm expecting about 10 free throws from him tonight because he's going to be aggressive because I remember one time playing with a guy named Tim Duncan. He got thrown out of a game and suspended for a game. That next game, I was like, dude, why can't we have this out there every day? <laughs> you know, because the superstars, when they're angry and they can channel it, they usually put it on somebody. So I'm expecting LeBron to have a great game. You would think 19 seasons in that you would have seen everything from LeBron James, but this is a first big game coming yeah. back after a suspension. Yeah, yeah. I, I have no doubt that his game is going to be on point. Uh, he's, he's going to redeem himself for missing a game, let it, you know, kind of feel like he let his teammates down. But in addition to his play, which we know will be a A+, plus, his biggest task right now is going to be uh, leadership. Can he vocally say something to his teammates out of timeouts at halftime, coming out of the tunnel before the third quarter starts? Uh, you know, uh, uh, that's going to be his biggest task right now is leadership in addition uh, to his play because they need that right now. You, sometimes you just need your veteran player or your leader to say something, give you some confidence or give you some constructive criticism. You know, everyone has to be open to that if they're going to push through this little this little thing they're going through, Brass. Yeah, James, if you're a Pacers mm -hmm. fan right now, you're probably thinking, okay, probably no AD, but who is going to stop LeBron? 